What's going on YouTube? This is Subum Saint bringing you another review today and today I am bringing you a review on an RDA called the 510 Addy. Nice little thing, nice. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about this RDA. Now this is made out of 304 stainless steel. You can get it in two color options, stainless steel and black. It retails for $29.99, so it's definitely vape budget friendly, and who doesn't love a vape budget friendly RDA? Everybody does now. So, without further ado, you guys are going to ask me, you know, does it perform? Does it vape good? All that good stuff. I got to admit, it has great flavor, great cloud production. Without me talking about it, I say we just blow some clouds, guys, and then we'll go down up closey, and I'll show you guys the nitty and the gritty of this RDA. So, let's get in the cloud cam. Alright guys, now that we are out of cloud cam, let me know what you guys think. Now, I'm not a big cloud chaser, far from it, but I wanted to add this little cloud cam feature in there guys so I can get you guys to know how this stuff performs. Now, without further ado, let's dive down to the nitty and the gritty of this RDA. Let's do it. Alright guys, here we are up close with the 510 Addy. Now, as you can see, smooth, smooth, smooth. Got a nice little etched logo in there. Delrin base. See the airflow on both sides, same way. Close it off. Close that one off. And they're both closed off. Just keep turning. It is a little bit snug. As you can see, you can open this one up. Have them both open. And for you single coilers, keep turning. You can have one side open, other side closed for you single coilers. Let's see if we can get this thing apart here. You have no lip whenever you do this. So you can just keep on pushing your RDA or pushing the base through now to that to me that is a con I do not like that I wish they had to put some kind of lip on there to kind of catch it here's the base of the RDA held on by a single o-ring sits on there pretty snug nice Delrin base two post design Phillips screws pretty decent juice well not gonna lie pretty decent there's probably two millimeter post holes Pretty decent. I haven't had any problems with anything, any gauge wire going in. I use 22, 24. Here's the barrel. Got that three diamond looking logo. It's your airflow slots. And here is the chuff piece or your AFC. As you can see, it's longer on one side, shorter on the other. The single O ring, pretty snug. Pretty decent bore drip tip. Pretty thick, but it does still get hot whenever you're vaping, chain vaping. So be forewarned. Here is the packaging that the 510 Addy comes in. Nice wood looking kind of thing. Got their logo on the top. Stainless steel. Pop it open, you get a bag of goodies. And in this bag of goodies, you get extra O-rings and extra screws. All right, guys, now that was the up close and the nitty and the gritty of this atomizer. So, what are my pros and my cons? 
Now, my pros are the flavor is excellent. I love the flavor. I love the cloud production I get off of it. I love that it is vape budget friendly at sitting at only $29.99. That is a bargain for me and I think it is an excellent, excellent pickup. Now, my cons, okay. So my cons are the O-rings on this are a little bit too snug. Now, don't get me wrong, I like it when it's snug, but it does make it a little bit difficult when you're adjusting the airflow. It makes it difficult when you're removing the top cap. It is just very, very tight. <laughs> but anyways, also, it would have been nice if they would have came with like a 510 adapter. That way you can use your preferred drip tip or else maybe wrap this one in Delrin because the tip of it does get pretty hot, especially when you're sub-ohming and you're having those 0.2 ohm builds or 0.19 builds or whatever. It's going to get hot. It's, it's going to burn your lip. It's going to be hot because it is all stainless steel. Now... Other than that, guys, I really don't have all that many cons about it. I just wish they would have included a few more different things to it and kind of done something different. Um, also, on the atomizer, on the bottom, it does not have that little lip that catches whenever you put the RDA on. It doesn't catch it. So, you know, you can just keep on pushing it up to the RDA. I showed you that in the close-ups. I do not like that. Now, that is a con. I wish you guys would actually put something... A little lip around the bottom of it to catch the top cap that way it makes it a little bit more easier more user friendly just yeah I mean come on guys um, other than that those are that's my list of my pros and my cons now it is a very great RDA I would definitely recommend picking it up I will put a link in the description as I always do on where you can get one and where I got it and all that and hey guys Great little vape budget RDA. It comes in black and stainless steel. Wish I would have got the black, but hey, what are you going to do? So, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.